All right, today we're gonna do a review. Uh, one of the first, what do we got? We got the DPMS Panther Arms short barrel rifle is what it is. I got the Flat Dark Earth Edition. Um, they didn't have this one at my local gun store, so I got it at Academy. Uh, it was about 180, I wanna say, so somewhere in there. Uh, mine happened to be returned, so it did not have the instruction manual and I would definitely recommend having one of those. If I cared a little more, I would probably look it up online, but I was able to get by pretty good without it. Uh, pretty much the same coat of arms as a, an AR-15. Uh, or I've got a Smith M&P 1522, it's same deal. I'm, I'm familiar with how the rifle works. Uh, what I had to do to it to make me like it, there was just a few things it was a lot of fun it's so much fun uh just to just to put it on full auto and let it burst pop, 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 or let it rip Double, do a mag dub who cares i didn't like the grip uh, i didn't like the grip it had a nice texture i wish i had a before picture to show you all but it was aggressive it was an aggressive texture i am not worried about this thing uh, slipping out of my hands I do have an aggressive texture on some grips. Uh, a pistol's not bad, but this is an it's an air gun. I'd like to be comfortable. The biggest I got two big problems. I got two big problems with this gun out of the box. This is gonna be an honest review. I paid my money for these. This right here needs to be filled in, and there was well before I before I fixed it. Sorry guys. There was a serious flashing on these plastics that I had to, I trimmed off with a razor and then sanded down just a little bit, nothing crazy. But this gap needs to be filled in. It would make it more comfortable on your index finger. It, you are hurting my delicate hands and I cannot have that. I can't have it. So took all the grip off. What I do, I, I took it to a bench grinder. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're, we're nothing fancy around here, I promise. Took it to a bench grinder, then uh, hooked up an angle grinder to it. I think I finished it off with like 220 sandpaper. I, I didn't go crazy, but I, I'm not worried about this gun slipping out of my hands in, in the weather. Uh, I'm not in any kind of combat situation. I do not need that aggressive grip texture to, to grab onto, to have something to make sure I don't slip. It, it's not kicking like that. It's, it's not necessary. I feel like it was the cheapest way they could blow mold a grip or whatever the hell they did, but... The other big gripe I have, sights. Their sights were just uh, not great. It's like they were, it's like you wanted them to be sighted in from a, a much greater distance, but you could not shoot that far away and hit what you were aiming at. So the sights were a big issue. Uh, this is not a rifle I would pick up if I was to go out and try to hit every target I was shooting at. This is a very fun rifle. I don't have any regrets buying it, but it would, uh, it, if it wasn't semi-automatic, 25 rounds where I can just go pop, 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 there's no way I would grab it to start playing your targets for accuracy. Uh, the sights might be a, a big part of that. I've changed them. I happen to have uh, some old Magpul inbus sights. The front sight is actually the, I think it's Pro Edition, I don't know what it's called. It's the nicer one, made out of aluminum and not plastic. And we'll take a, a quick look. I don't know if you can see how fine that, that is, but it, this is an adjustable sight. You can adjust for elevation. You can adjust how big that, uh, that front sight post actually is, how wide it is. What they provided me with was this, and if, you look at this and look at that, I'm definitely gonna want that. There's no adjustments at all on this. The rear sight, not as bad. I don't feel like the rear sight's as important, personally. You're, you're trying to center up a hole. Center up a hole on the front sight. We're focusing on our front sights here. But this, uh, it's kind of the same concept as the Inbus. You can break it open, get a wider or a narrower peep, depending. So, the concept's the same, but it didn't stand up like consistently. Sometimes when we go to this angle, 
and you had to make sure it was pushed all the way forward and that's that's a hassle that, that's a problem I would say that's a problem I wouldn't want that so these I mean hit the button they flip up these flip down ah it's a really bad angle for me here flip up uh, and I wouldn't say I would go buy these I wouldn't say these are necessary at all but if you had them uh, why not I don't I don't see the, the issue with it they came also with this foregrip uh, I've used a lot of foregrips and I've liked a lot of foregrips and I did not like this foregrip took it off it's not that I think this quad reel is very comfortable to hold it's that I think that is trash uh, not a huge deal I could have shot it with it on there let's see I did try to fit these are some sight mark scopes both of them I think that's a wolfhound uh, the gun's not accurate enough to do that you're you're just not going to be able to line it up and hit what you're shooting at you want to that, that would be cool if it did but it's not going to that's not what this gun is this gun's uh you know burst some stuff see what falls over this one i have not tried it's, it's a sight micro sight mark red dot uh i'm not endorsing sight mark or anything but they were cheap and i had some 22s i wanted to you know put some things on uh you don't need a whole lot of scope for a 22 just to just to knock some things around let's see oh this is a torch a torque driver i'm actually a really big fan of this can't remember the brand i can't remember much i'm really bad guys that's fat ranch but uh i like to know how tight i am making things and this tells me exactly it's a digital and I just kind of nerd out about that kind of stuff. Um, I generally have these things out with me if I'm out and shooting. It's just going to have the drivers I need. Uh, less trips to the garage, happier shooter. I want to try this out see how it does. It's a ton of fun. Uh, well, on the rifles I've shot it on. I have not shot it on this. Let's, is there anything else to note about this? Had to get the grip gone. The stock's not bad. As always, I kind of wish, I'm, a, I'm somewhat tall, I'm 6'2". I wish the stocks had a little bit more adjustability. I, I love a cheek riser. I would like the stocks to have some something I can, I want to bring it up taller. If I actually put the stock down, it's, it's not awful. But I usually end up centering somewhere. Oh, this is going to be really bad. But I have to I have to crook it into the top of my shoulder, and I'm used to that. That's, that's the way a lot of my rifles are. I'm just trying to think of things to complain about because I smile every time I shoot it. Um, in the box came oh let's see this little mag loader. I've I've never used it not once. Let's see, we'll put you on the tripod and we'll actually try to do some damage here. Oh, I hope that's good. We're doing low quality content just like always. So this is nothing, nothing strange to most of you, I'm sure. You're just going to slide it up. I actually, I think the tip of your fingernail works better than actually trying to use the textured you, you actually hook it with the tip and you can slide right past that hole and lock it in. The, I've seen mixed reviews on that mag loader, but I just crimped the end off a drinking straw. This is an old CCI mini mag tube. And it kind of fills up pretty good. Ah, I should have used the skinny straw for this. The skinny straw works better. The big straw holds more BBs. Uh, same controls as an AR, so your ping pong pad will work. It's got a last round hold open. That should be hot, so that should be safe, generally. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. 
it's got the brass deflector to make sure none of the, well nothing ejects so but it's there it's got the forward assist and it, it does not function it doesn't pull forward push forward or pull back bag release does work safety semi and fun switch all work pretty good uh, that's nothing nothing crazy there's nothing on here that's unfamiliar it does have well, it's reverse threads reverse threads but uh I, I actually haven't looked into it I assume you could put a suppressor on here if you were about it and I thought about it I probably will I probably will I ain't gonna lie I'm really glad I have it I'm really glad I have it everybody that's came over to shoot it says it's tons of fun let's see I'm not good at this I'm sorry fellas and ladies whoever you might be oh uh, and if you're watching I've got 11 subscribers that's nuts I had a video the other day with a thousand views and my son went crazy I, I don't know how that happened some of the algorithm or what have you but okay sorry sorry sidetracked I'm gonna hit the bag release button eject oh drop the mag that does happen sometimes it's gonna have an arrow to open towards we're just gonna open it I didn't know this maybe you did but you're supposed to put some oil on each of your 12 grams you use keep the internals loose makes a lot of sense I used to play a lot of paintball and there was a company I can't remember the name of them that drilled out and tapped in a fitting to run these co2s off of a, a remote line one of the you know 12 20 one of the larger bottles this is the allen key they give you tucks in here locks in there uh, it's nifty and also you always have it. I, I don't use it. I don't like it We're gonna use a real allen key and tighten one up Snug the other up There's one that says first easy enough once you get it to a certain point of tight I just kind of like to uh, you know do it make it happen And if you're gonna do that you need a real allen key and not this uh, joke allen key so Put it in there you know it's going to break so just make it happen we don't want co2 flying all over the place we just want to shoot our our gun slide it in snap it in lock it in tap it in rack it in uh and we'll do a little semi auto i've never shot these sights on here so this is going to be a little learning experience to go with this Well, I shot the crap out of something, but I can't tell you what I hit. I think I'll have to adjust the elevation on the sights. It's like they're sighted in to be a well, these these definitely are sighted in to be a further difference, a further distance. But the gun can't shoot all that far, to be perfectly honest. And we're going to have to drop it down. Fortunately, that's something I can do with these particular sights. Oh, I forgot to hit the switch. I do like it better. 